Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of the Disney Dining Show, coming to you from the Bob Varley Studio in Orlando, Florida. I'm your host, Pete Werner, joined this week via Skype by my good friends, Denny Sunderly. Hi there. And Corey Fiascanaro. Hey, everybody. And just a reminder, those of you watching us on YouTube, just go ahead and click that little subscribe button right below this video. And uh, also the little bell next to it if you want to get notified when we release new content because we're releasing stuff all the time. You're not going to want to miss it. So please go ahead and do that and help us out. Subscribe to our channel. All right. This week, we are going to talk about our favorite breakfasts on property. And... I actually have two, but I'm going to go last because mine are correct. <laughs> um, so uh, we will let you. I will let you know at the end what the right answer to this is. Um, but we'll start with you, uh, Danny. What are your favorite? What's your favorite breakfast on, at Walt Disney World? Okay, um, for me right now, and I've had it uh, twice in the not so distant um, past, so very, very recently, is uh, the wave. I know we are constantly singing the praise of the wave at Disney's Contemporary Resort, but it comes with good reason. Um, the Waves Breakfast Buffet, it's specifically <coughs> their buffet, uh, is only tw it's twenty five dollars, and so when you weigh that out against some of the other breakfasts that you can get on property, say at Be Our <coughs> Guest in the Magic Kingdom, cool. that breakfast is also twenty five dollars. I would not and suggest that that is the best use of your vacation dining dollars. Go to the Wave um, because they have this amazing buffet um, that spans the length of the back of the restaurant and um, the Tillamook cheddar cheese grits live on that buffet. And along with your buffet comes the option to get an egg dish of your choice. So say you want a couple of scrambled eggs or an omelet, they'll do that for you. Plus they'll do coffee, tea, or Pog Juice. I know Pog Juice, um, we, we, Walt Disney World fans, we like to know where we can get our Pog Juice. Um, and you can actually get that at the Wave. And that's the very first thing they'll well, offer you when you sit down. Let's it's make, delightful. let's make sure we explain to people uh, what Pog Juice is. So my understanding is it's, it's uh, pineapple juice, um, orange juice, and guava. I think it's either that's passion correct or yes. passion. Okay, good. Um, it's known as moonshine over at trails End. it's, it's a, a thousand different things. You can also get it at Boma, but when that pops up, it's just a delightful little thing to go. Oh, you have it too. Thank you. So the wave. And is if you one. are, and if you are like me and you're diabetic, um, a glass of pog juice, uh, you drink a glass of pog juice and be okay with a blood sugar of 400. Yeah. Um, it is delicious, but oh my God, it's sugar in a, in a glass. It is. Um, but it's so good. It's so it is. good. It is I so love good. it. Um, All right. What's place, number, what's the next one? Okay. So another place I would recommend, um, nine times out of 10, I'm pretty, um, I, I like, I want, I'm pretty standard. Like I, when I'm having breakfast on property, I want to have eggs maybe a home fry, a potato on the side, some bacon and a biscuit, a something like that. So um, last year on my birthday, I had the chance to have breakfast at the plaza um, there in the Magic Kingdom. And it was perfect. It was exactly what I wanted. The service was top notch. I know um, for me, as a Walt Disney World fan who loves the history, the plaza is old school Walt Disney World. That's what that is. Um, the first breakfast I wanted to have in Disneyland was at the Carnation Cafe. And and while it's not the same, it is a, a sister dining location, I like to think of it as. So I really enjoy the plaza. I love the food and I love the service. And there's just something about looking out the window and seeing that castle just sitting there and the guests strolling by. Um, and then I've got uh, just a shout out. Um, it's, this is a silly, it, it may be, it may seem silly, but the 
Boardwalk Bakery. If you are staying at the Boardwalk or in the general location of the Boardwalk, Boardwalk Bakery does some great um, order it and take it out the door with you, which might be great in this new moment of social distancing. So when we stayed at the boardwalk, we went downstairs to the boardwalk bakery. I ordered the eggs, the potatoes, the you know little breakfast sausage, um, dish and then you can take it and uh, they offer seating just outside in what is technically abracadab bars um, location so outdoor seating patio location but that is where you get to sit with your breakfast and while it was simple and while it was grab and go it was magical to sit there on the boardwalk as everyone's starting to wake up and the boats the friendship boats are starting to move for the day it was fantastic. So those are those are the top three for me right now. All right. Fiasco. All right. So I have four total places that I love breakfast at and they are in order. So starting with so and also I'll mention three of them are from resorts and only one is from a park. And my number one selection is from a park. So we'll have to wait to get there. But my number four is Grand Floridian Cafe. And the reason it's coming in at number four is because I wouldn't go here for breakfast if I was having a park day afterwards, because what I'm going to tell you to get there, you'll know why. It's the chicken and waffles with the sriracha honey drizzle. It is yeah. ridiculous. It is yeah. ridiculous. And not only is it chicken, a big piece of fried chicken and waffles, but they mm. have coated the, the chicken with f like frosted flakes with this honey sriracha drizzle it it's is cornflakes yeah no it's a, it's it's a cornflake that it's a cornflake <laughs> yeah. uh based of uh, a crust that they fry it in which is just yep. despicable but it's so wonderful uh, yep. so yeah it'll change your life but you might not want to be going on any, any rides for a while you <clears> might want to take a nap afterwards um so that's why it comes in <laughs> at number four but still amazing amazing breakfast uh number three is Topolino's new location Riviera so so good every <clears throat> meal of the day is just a slam dunk there I spoke on their limited time brunch being among the best or the best of the limited time brunches I've ever had it's it's the truth their breakfast is fixed at forty two dollars which might seem a little bit expensive however I'd recommend when you go there get the steak and eggs it's a butcher's cut steak. Um, with lots of accompaniments, and it is at, at that point, I, for me, so worth it, so so worth it. You're also going to get your basket of of pastries there, pastries there as well. That's going to come with different types of muffins, bread, croissants. So for me, that's worth it at that point. Um, number two for me is also the wave, uh, and I would put this at the best value. So if you're looking to get the best bang for your buck for breakfast and a character experience, which it's still to be determined what those character dining experiences are going to look like in the future, but um, definitely postponed for the time being. Uh, and if you're looking to get the best bang for your buck, not involving a character experience, the way I think is going to be the winner, uh, at least for me, that's where I always take family when they're down visiting. Uh, like Denny already mentioned, the buffet is just fantastic. And if the buffet, if buffet is not something that you want to do, you can also order off the regular menu too. It's totally up to you. Um, but number one, number one breakfast of all time for me, unhinging, unchanging, it's always been this way for me, is Garden Grill in Epcot. Uh, all my other favorites happen to be at resorts. This one happens to be at a park and it is the number one location for me honestly it might it's like it's like one of my favorite meals period not just breakfast included and it's that cinnamon roll that cinnamon roll is is a life-changing cinnamon roll like i've had you know cinnamon rolls in disneyland disney world all over the country and nothing compares to what they're feeding us at garden grill i don't know what they're putting in it but maybe crack. nicotine yeah something something no, that's addictive it's crack because i will sit down there and like the the all you care to enjoy skillet is great too it's awesome but honestly i could pay full price for that breakfast and just get the cinnamon roll repeated 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 back to the table and just eat that and i would not leave thinking that i 
overspent for that thing. It is just out of this world. Number one, not to mention the vibes just make me happy. Just being there around the land with the waterfall going and you hear the dog little barking on, on the ride as you pass through that portion of the revolving restaurant. It's just the best number one. Okay. <clears throat> now, let me give you the correct list. The right answers <laughs> to this question. Strap in, everyone. Here um, we go. Strap in. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, you know, Fiasco is correct about Grand Floridian Cafe. Um, there was a time I thought those words would never leave my mouth, but uh, that restaurant has really turned around in the last couple of years and is a fantastic restaurant. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Um, yep. And I agree that breakfast was that breakfast was awesome. Um, I also think Tusker House in Animal Kingdom is the best character meal on property. You have phenomenal character interaction. Um, you have the same things you would get on any uh, uh, any of the breakfast buffets, right? With the eggs and the different you know pastries and sausage and bacon, but you also have this amazing selection of African-inspired dishes. The babodi is like crazy good. Um, <clears throat> and every time I, and again, this is consistency now. Uh, every time I go there, every time I do a breakfast there, I'm like, okay, this is phenomenal. Uh, a close second to that, or actually probably it comes in ahead. So I would say, yeah, Grand Floridian fourth, uh, Tusker House third, uh, Boma at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Um just phenomenal. You talk about, I don't know of a buffet on Disney property that is that varied. I mean, it is a massive, massive buffet, and they offer everything from the carving station to the traditional stuff to uh, the African-inspired dishes. And I I, I just, I, I love Boma. I've not had a bad experience there. But I am, to be a broken record, I'm putting the wave at the top of my list. Um, for a number of reasons. Um, uh, first, um, the buffet is nice. It has a nice buffet. Uh, it's by no means, if it was just the buffet, it would not be on my list. It would not be on this list if it was just the buffet. It is the a la carte menu and the ridiculous creativity that went into it that really sets this apart. I mean, you can, I, 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 I'm not recalling off the top of my head what's on that a la carte menu. I just remember being like, oh my God, this is unbelievable. Um, I also like the fact that they do put uh, Eggs Benedict on the, uh, on the buffet as well, because that's always a staple for me, although I don't like Eggs Benedict pre-cooked. Um, they're something they can get dry and nasty um, if they've been out for a little bit. So, um, but just the, uh, uh, ju you know, just that the variety and assortment and creativity on that a la carte menu, coupled with the fact that when you're done with breakfast, you take a nice stroll right over to the Magic Kingdom. Yeah. And that is an amazing way to start a morning. If you don't want to deal with the crazy at the Crystal Palace, you don't want to deal with the crowd in uh, the plaza because it's a small space. Um, if you don't want to gag on your breakfast at Be Our <laughs> Guest, um, because that's awful, awful, yeah. awful. Breakfast and lunch at Be Our Guest is a quick service experience, and it is absolutely atrocious. It is so, so bad. They should be ashamed of themselves. So when the wave for $25 for that buffet or the a la carte menu, if you want to get something off the a la carte menu, it's just light years better than anything you're going to get in the park. And it's a nice way to start your morning. Very nice way to start your morning. And even if you're just using bus service, you go to the Magic Kingdom, it's very easy to hang a right as you get off the yep. bus and go over to the Contemporary. Have that breakfast, then come back to the Magic Kingdom. Um, that's why I put it at number one. It's just... I've done it many times where so I've had breakfast there and gone into the Magic Kingdom. It's just special. It's mm -hmm. just special. Um, so uh, that is the correct list of, uh, <laughs> just so you know, 
Um, I'm kidding. Something I'm that kidding. you were mentioning the a la carte menu, Pete, and so something that they have on that a la carte menu at the Wave are their sig uh, their signature sweet potato pancakes. Those are also on the buffet. They come with the pecan honey butter that they have there. That's just, that's some of the inventiveness that you were talking about, Pete. Just, um, they'll do an egg white frittata. They'll, they'll do, they just have lots of, like you're saying, lots of different things. Um, they have an egg sandwich that is just very, very different from anything else that you're going to see on property so so i agree with you they are very very inventive and the team there is very proud of what they do what they've been able to accomplish in that kitchen so yep. that's cool to see. and you know <clears throat> you know i say it all the time i should never do these shows if i haven't eaten <laughs> yeah because i'm like i'm really getting angry now okay i'm like that hungry i'm getting angry so we're gonna wrap this up so i can go grab something to eat while I try not to cry, thinking that I still can't go and have these breakfasts right now. Um, looking forward to the day when I can. But that is going to do it for this week's episode of our show. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back with you again next week with another edition of the Disney Dining Show. Have a great week. <laughs>